Hello everyone. So the whole idea behind my channel is that you don't need a lot of products and things to create nice looks. <laughs> you just need a few things. There are actually all of these things are optional. If you think you don't need them so you can use something else besides them, good for you. Great. You, you figured out a way to get things even done even better with a smaller hassle. But I'm going to show you guys what I have and what I use. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven face brushes and one, two, three, four, five, six, six eyeshadow brushes. And these are the ones I use for everything. So I'm going to start with my little fluffy brush. This is a Kabuki brush from Biss. Biss Synthetic as it says. And I really like it because it has a very fluffy outlook. I love doing this. Oh, I really do love doing this. It takes on product really well and I use this on my little compact powder to put it everywhere. So like as a first step or after foundation to make everything really just, you know, stay put. You could also use this one as, let's say, bronzer. It's the perfect size for bronzer or even blush so it all depends what you want to use it for but I use it for powders basically you can use all powders with this it's a really good brush so I have two other big ones like this and this this and this and this so this one I use for my bronzer I like it because it's big it has a little bit of um, narrowness to it so I get it in a straighter line I can go directly underneath my cheekbone. So I like this. And this is my... Who, who wants to guess what this is? Yeah, <laughs> it's red. It's my blush brush. So it's really good for this little cheeky, cheeky, cheeky thing. It's good. I like both of them. And actually, what I like about this bronzer brush is that if I go one swipe, it goes almost the same. It gets a little bit pointy at one end. At edge. One edge. And other, so really good. I like them both. And as with usual, pretty much everything's old. You know what my all my brushes do? They do this. I should glue them together. Never be afraid to use glue. Glue stuff. Make it a make it a project. Glue stuff. Use stuff. So this is my syn this synthetic brush that looks like an artiste brush. I like it. I like uh, using this when I'm using cream contour and then I just put a cream and then I kind of go like this up and down very fast and it goes, gives you a really nice blended out edge. So really good. Plus it's a really great size for all the little contouring things you would ever want to do. So I like it. Next I have two brushes here which look pretty much the same. Actually they're meant as blush. Blush brushes or powder brushes. Here's the thing, if you think a brush would be used better in the in another way, not the original way it's meant to be used, you do you use them. Make them work. Always just make stuff work. You don't have to use everything like you think it should be used. So this one actually I use as my little nose contour. I always like it when my nose is if I could go with a nose contour, I always go all the way because my nose will... I just like the way it looks. And this one, actually, on really busy days, when I'm doing something very natural, I just use this. I take some kind of white powder. This is my white powder. I only have one white powder. So, Essence is all about matte fixing compact powder. And I just go fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. I get this. And then I go like underneath the eyes as a little bit to make myself look a little bit less tired and then right now I kind of just like blendy blendy with my fingers use your fingers that's that's one of the tool you have you don't have to pay for it. use your fingers but now I get it clean it's clean now <laughs> okay it's not clean it's usable so and I also like using this because it has a bit of a narrower edge I like using this as a highlighter brush because then you get to use it on the places that you want highlight to stick on this way and that way. So when highlighting, create a little tri triangle. So this is really good. It doesn't give you a straight line. 
and does it give you way too much pigment so you look like you're glazed, like a glazed donut. You don't look like that. But it gives you just enough of highlight to make it look a little bit, you know, like, gives you a little, oh. And I like it. I really do like it for that. And my eyeshadow brushes. Oh, well, I have one more for my face. I use this because it has a very nice tip. I use it for really, really contouring my nose if I want to really straight down nose look. It works with creams and powders. You can use your bronzer actually for that really um, very sharp edged nose contour. Never be afraid to use powders where they want you to use creams or creams where they want you to use powders. You do you. Make everything happen, make everything work. That's the basic thing. And these are actually my eyeshadow brushes. And every single I've ever created have been with these brushes. I do not have more. You do not need more. So this one is the one I use the most. I actually just use this to fill out my eyebrows. Everything that looks like this is from EcoTools. I like EcoTools. It's really good. EcoTools is really good. Then I have a couple of brushes that are flat like this. This one I use to put on pigment. So all the flat brushes, the idea is to put on pigment because you can just like put on pigment. That's the idea. But what I like using because it has, well, you can put on pigment really well, but also it has a very sharp edge that you can do a really good liner. Liner line either in the corner through like this or if you don't want to bother with a liquid black line or something, use the tip of this to actually create that black line. Because if you're working with a powder, you have a lot more creative control, actually. And this is another one, really good for putting on pigments. It's a bit slanted. I just washed it like that, and I kept it like that. And it's a bit soft, so you can also use this as a blending brush. And the next two brushes that I have, my brushes just fell. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my blending brushes. So this is my favorite brush. I use this the most. And it's really soft and fluffy and great for blending. And another thing you can do with this, which is really good, use it as a highlighter brush. Just, you get a very nice and very precise application of highlighter with this on your cupid's mouth and the nose. It's like perfect, perfect size to give you on the nose. And you, if you want a little bit bang more with the brush then create a triangle with the highlighter really good for this one always this kind of a size and brush is really good and then i have my little it's supposed to be an eyeshadow smudger brush for you know underneath and yeah i use it as a crease brush brush everything that's a little bit more soft and round you can use as a crease brush brush really really well it blends it puts on pigment and it works that's it <laughs> these are my brushes that i just use all the time i don't have anything else these are the only things i have most of them i don't even know what the names are because they're well, not who made them who the maker are we can buy them because they're so old but if you have brushes just make them that make them work. You don't have to use them as people think you have to work, use them. You don't need 20 different brushes. Use what you have, make it work. That's it. Keep your money. Use your money on rent or food or other stuff. <laughs> well, thank you for watching me. Hope to see you again soon.